and today I'm back with another homemade vending machine, squishy machine, capsule machine, whatever you guys like to call this thing. The back door closes with this little flap, which is a basically a hole, and it just goes into that skewer stick, and it opens up the money and the mechanism. Also the refill area, but the door doesn't cover it all the way because it wasn't big enough. The inside is very messy because I'm not a neat person, but uh, I'll try to explain it in this crowdedness. There's nothing that locks it, but nothing also comes out if you don't put money. And this is basically what it looks like when you push the button. Like, nothing happens. And this thing over here is the thing that will pull your prize down. I don't know if you guys can see, but that push button thing is basically a large X. How I did that was I got two pieces of cardboard, pretend this is cardboard. I folded them in half, kind of. I hot glued them just like this to form an X, and that's basically all it is. And right now it just looks like this, but it's covered right here with paper. This thing over here ignored the coin, it's there just for weight reasons to even it out, but this thing is basically the whole mechanism. I say that way too often, but when it's in that position, the prize falls in. When the button pushes it along with the coin, this is extremely difficult with one hand. It basically pushes the uh, button and the prize falls down. Unfortunately, the way I built it, you guys won't be able to see, but I put two quarters in there. And the quarters basically push this thing up. And then when you turn back, the quarters fall into the uh, coin hole right here. And when you push the button back, it returns it back to normal. This is how it looks without the quarter. This is how it looks with two quarters. This little tab just cleans on to push it back like that. Here is an easier view. The camera's going to be shaking because I'm holding it. This video is by the Random Meg. My machine is based off of this, but it's like a 2.0 version. This dangly thing over here is this part in her video, this whole part. Here, uh, the coin can push, and here's the thing that actually pushes it. Yes, sure. it like, does that, and you can slide. Yeah, it slides like, just back like, just like that, as I showed you guys earlier. This is how her machine works. So the coin goes in there, and the coin basically pushes these tabs. And it pushes the whole button forward. Yay, so I got it out, and <laughs> no, that was so confusing. Let me try demonstrating with these two. There's like a cardboard piece which has a hole. This is not the actual piece, I just cut that real quick. And this basically goes in there. The hole in the cardboard is just big enough so that it holds still like this and it just goes back and forth, back and forth. This is basically how it looks inside the machine. This is just dangling there and when you don't put any coins, nothing happens. When you put the two quarters in, the quarter will push this tab right here, which will move this going forward. Here's our little X thing and it will be basically in between and the prize will be on top. When the quarter pushes this forward, it leans like that. The prize drops. There's also a hole where the quarters will drop to. And then this little tab right here will bring it back to where it began. I know you guys are going to be complaining in the comments that you guys don't get it, but I'm so sorry. Also, I forgot to put a ramp, so you kind of have to shake it. So you kind of have to just tilt the machine so it will fall into the hole. 